My most favorite backpack is the Z-Pax Nero. Love the size, the shape, and the way it fits. I also have the Z-Pax Arc Hall, which is bigger, tougher, and uh, can carry more weight. And my new one, the Arc Air, is in between. The question is, will I like it more than my Nero? So this is my brand new Z-Pax Arc Air. Uh, it comes in three different sizes or torso lengths. It also has many different waist lengths you can order. Um, but on the back, it's got this fancy adjustment, uh, so micro adjustments, which makes it very comfortable for those people in between back sizes. So that is a, a really nice plus this backpack that very few other in this category have. The pack itself, this one is aerobic nylon, um, very tough water resistant nylon. Um, it's got a tough outside mesh on the front. Many uh, pack packs in this category have a, a, a Lycra nylon blend, uh, which can pluck. It also provides room for um, uh, venting to allow things to dry in there, in there as well. It has a uh, clips on the front or uh, loops for holding something light. That's standard. It has a roll top at the top. There's no header on the top of this. And it just clips onto the side and it fastens that way. Now, if you look at the back, I've added accessories. Um, that is the water bottle accessory. And this is an accessory I use for my either my, my phone. Um, or in this case, I've got some bear spray because I'm getting ready for the Great Divide Trail where there are bears. <laughs> The shoulder straps have a daisy chain webbing, which allows you to add accessories. I really like that. The hip belt is uh, very simple and very effective, very comfortable. The hip belt also has daisy chain webbing, allowing for accessories such as the hip belt pockets. The side pockets here, uh, I've got a water bottle in front here. I also have my um, water for purification by, uh, this one happens by, by Sawyer. No, it's not. It's Catadine. My bad. So the pack itself is also not very heavy. It uh, comes in at a fairly moderate weight for a pack with a full frame. So that is really pretty sweet. The frame itself, um, it has these curved fiberglass stays, and then it has a frame on the top. This one happens to be aluminum, and the one in the middle, let me unzip this, maybe you can see it better. And there's another stay in the middle. This one happens to be a carbon fiber or fiberglass. And then on the bottom, there's another aluminum one, which the hip belt is affixed to. So you got one, two, three rigid stays, and then you got two, one here and one here, which are the curved. Now, one of the advantages of that is, I'll turn it curved wise, is these rest on the shoulders, these rest on the hip, and you have this natural arc allowing for ventilation. So, uh, and it works. One of the questions I had to myself when I first picked this up is, will that arcing function uh, be comfortable? Uh, because I know that the Arc Hall, which also has an arcing function, but it has a, um, a trampoline or a bed in the mesh in the middle, which allows your back to rest on that. This, there's nothing resting on there. So I was concerned that this and this would cause pressure points that could make it uncomfortable. But I can tell you that after about uh, 150 kilometers on this thing, carrying a full load, uh, it's been very comfortable. In fact, many times I didn't even realize I had it on. It was so comfortable. So it has performed amazingly well. In fact, way beyond my expectations. So let's just open this up a little bit and see what we got here. So I've got here my, my poo bag, first aid kit, rain gear, that's what I have in the front. So let's unzip this, or untwist this. Uh, got some eight, eight inch foam padding uh, for my uh, sit pad and supplements my, uh, my Thermarest. I have my um, cold soaking kit, uh, Catadine Be Free, another water bottle. Now, if you look at the back, I've added the accessories, for my water bottle. And this one, uh, I have bear spray, as well as on the little front pocket, uh, spare pair of cheaters and some sunscreen. 
I can add here that one of the neatest things about this pack, and in fact, a lot of the Z-Packs pack is their ability to add accessories. So these add-ons work really well, and uh, you don't have to have them if you don't want them. Uh, they're very nice. So another add-on I've got here as well, uh, if you can see this, there is a uh, elastic spongy there, and I've got one at the top of the, um, or sorry, the bottom of the shoulder strap, and that allows for me to attach um, a trekking poles while I'm on the fly, and they stay very nicely on the side. I'm going to show a picture, and you can see what, what I'm talking about. Also, there's some extra clips here, uh, which allow you to add a, um, a V-shaped uh, strap on the front, which allows you to add a, a, a bare canister or, or maybe a tent or something that's heavier on the top. Also, there's all sorts of fasteners here, 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 and here. So you can add cords or other accessories on the side or on the front as well. Z-Pax is known for their high quality ultralight gear. But for their packs, uh, they've had all sorts of uh, forethought to allow for accessories such as the water bottle sleeve, the shoulder pouch, um, hip belt pouches, and all sorts of other uh, cool accessories to make your backpacking experience more enjoyable. So let's open this up and see what I got inside. So I just undid the first clip. That just goes around the top. Do the side clips, unroll it. And that is a clothing accessory bag, tent, my quilt, and normally I have uh, my food bag and my, um, uh, my Thermarest tucked in there as well, but I don't have it here. The bag is 50 liters, the main compartment is 37 liters, the side pockets are 2.5 liters, and the front mesh pocket is 7 liters. The inside is not tape seamed. I really appreciate the quality of craftsmanship. Uh, the stitching is all strong, uh, straight, and true. And here's a better look at the back. Uh, you see the load lifters, the aluminum stay, and the micro adjustments for the torso height. This is my experiment of going with no hip belt on this backpack. Although the hip belt on this backpack can be removed and it's interchangeable for different sizes, it's not designed to be worn without a hip belt. Because I prefer using my backpack beltless, I was trying to figure out a way to do it. So I looked at the back and I go, if I wrap around those things to the front, let's just try that. So I flipped it over, then I wrap the hip belts around and I, I clip them behind at the back uh, through the loops designed for holding the uh, thermo rests and such. Then that seemed to work. So the question remains is, will it be comfortable? Or essentially, will it work? Uh, so let's test it out. So all I needed to do now was to load up the backpack with about 20 pounds of gear, and I hiked about 40 kilometers over two days. All in all, it rode well, and it was quite comfortable, but there was one problem. After I took my shirt off, which was a Patagonia Stretch Sun, there was some premature wear at the back panel, so I consider this a fail. Yeah, I never had that problem uh, with this backpack before wearing a hip belt. So I've learned that this backpack is designed to be worked with a hip belt. In conclusion, if the Z-Pax Nero and the Z-Pax Arc Hall had a baby, it would be the Arc Air. Now this is one sweet pack. It carries super comfortably, can handle a load well over 20 pounds, it has a capacity of about 50 liters, and the new Rubik uh, aerobic uh, nylon is super durable and uh, waterproof enough for just about any of your needs. It does have a top very similar to the Nero, but it has the nice carbon fiber arced um, uh, stays at the back, similar to the Arc Hall. So this is one sweet, interesting pack by z -Packs. Get out there, smile, and enjoy the moments. Mm -hmm.